Operation Barras, a story of courage, determination, and the relentless pursuit of excellence by the British armed forces in their mission to rescue their captured soldiers. Sierra Leone is a small West African country that gained independence from Britain in 1961. The country has a complex and turbulent history with a long-standing pattern of political instability, corruption, and poverty. In 1991, a civil war broke out in Sierra Leone, which lasted for more than a decade and resulted in the deaths of thousands of people and the displacement of millions. The war was characterized by brutal violence, including widespread rape, mutilation, and amputation of civilians, often carried out by rebel groups such as the Revolutionary United Front, or RUF. The RUF, led by Fode Sanko, was notorious for its use of child soldiers and for its brutal tactics, which included amputating the limbs of civilians as a means of terrorizing the population. The group funded its activities through the sale of blood diamonds, which were diamonds mined in war zones and sold to finance armed conflict. In response to the conflict, the United Nations deployed a peacekeeping mission to Sierra Leone in 1999, known as the United Nations Mission in Sierra Leone or UNAMSL. The mission aimed to disarm the various rebel groups, stabilize the country, and create conditions for peace and development. In September 2000, a group of British soldiers were on a peacekeeping mission in Sierra Leone. They were stationed in the capital, Freetown, as part of a United Nations peacekeeping force. The mission was to help maintain peace and security in the country, which had been ravaged by years of civil war. The British soldiers were members of the Royal Irish Regiment, and they were stationed at a checkpoint outside of the capital. On September 1st, they were ambushed by a group of rebels who were part of the West Side Boys, a militia group who were opposed to the government of Sierra Leone. The soldiers were captured and taken to the village of Gaberi Bana, deep in the heart of the jungle. They were being held at gunpoint, and their captors were threatening to kill them if their demands were not met. The British government knew that they had to act fast if they wanted to save the lives of their soldiers. Thus began Operation Barris, a daring and complex military operation that involved a joint force of British Army soldiers, Royal Marines, and Special Boat Service or SBS personnel. The objective was simple, to rescue the captured soldiers and bring them home safely. The jungle terrain presented a significant challenge for the British forces. The thick vegetation and rough terrain made it difficult to navigate and locate the captive soldiers without being detected by the West Side Boys. The West Side Boys were a group of militants who were known to be heavily armed and dangerous, making the mission even more challenging. To address this challenge, the British forces employed a range of tactics and assets to gather intelligence on the location of the captive soldiers. Unmanned aerial vehicles or UAVs were used to monitor the movements of the West Side Boys from the air, providing valuable intelligence on their movements and activities. This allowed the British forces to track the militants without being detected, which was crucial to the success of the mission. In addition to UAVs, Special Forces reconnaissance teams were deployed to gather information on the ground. These highly trained soldiers were able to move stealthily through the jungle, avoiding detection and gathering valuable intelligence on the location of the captive soldiers and the activities of the West Side Boys. After days of reconnaissance and intelligence gathering, the British forces finally located the captive soldiers. They were being held in a small compound, guarded by heavily armed militants. The West Side Boys were heavily armed and well prepared, which made the mission of rescuing the captive soldiers very risky. The British forces had to come up with a plan that would enable them to neutralize the militants guarding the compound without putting the lives of the captive soldiers or the rescuers in danger. The plan that the British forces came up with involved launching a surprise attack on the compound at night when the militants were sleeping. This was a high-risk plan, but it was the only option available to the British forces. The element of surprise was crucial to the success of the mission, as it would allow the British forces to neutralize the guards before they could raise the alarm and alert the rest of the militants. To execute the plan, the British forces had to move in under the cover of darkness, using night vision goggles and silenced weapons to avoid detection. This required a high level of skill and coordination, as any mistake could compromise the entire mission. Despite the challenges, the British forces managed to successfully execute the plan. 
They were able to neutralize the guards without alerting the rest of the militants, allowing them to free the captive soldiers and extract them safely from the compound. But the mission was not over yet. The British forces had to make their way back to their base without being detected by the West Side boys. They knew that if they were caught, it would mean certain death. After successfully rescuing the captive soldiers, the British forces knew that they had to move quickly and silently through the jungle to avoid detection by the West Side boys. They had to cross rivers, climb mountains, and navigate through dense vegetation, all while ensuring that they remained undetected by the militants. This phase of the operation was particularly challenging as the soldiers were exhausted from the rescue mission and had to move quickly through difficult terrain. Any mistake or delay could have led to the detection and capture of the soldiers, putting their lives in grave danger. Despite the challenges, the British forces persevered, using their training and experience to navigate through the jungle and avoid detection. They remained vigilant and alert, ready to react to any threats that may have arisen. After several hours of trekking through the jungle, the British forces finally made it back to their base. The rescued soldiers were given medical attention and they were soon reunited with their families. The success of the operation was a testament to the bravery and skill of the British forces and it demonstrated the importance of careful planning and execution in complex military operations. Operation Barris was a resounding success. All of the captured soldiers were rescued and no British forces were killed or injured. The operation was seen as a major achievement for the British Armed Forces, and it helped to restore confidence in the military's ability to operate effectively in challenging environments. The success of Operation Barris was due to a combination of factors. Firstly, the British forces had extensive training and experience in operating in challenging environments. They were well equipped and well prepared for the mission. Secondly, the operation was a joint effort between the British Army, Royal Marines, and Special Boat Service personnel. The combined expertise and capabilities of these units ensured the success of the mission. But perhaps most importantly, the success of Operation Barris was due to the bravery and determination of the soldiers involved. They risked their lives to rescue their comrades, and they were willing to do whatever it takes to achieve their objective. Their courage and dedication serve as an inspiration to us all. The legacy of Operation Barris lives on today. The lessons learned from the operation have been incorporated into the training and operations of the British Armed Forces. The operation also highlighted the importance of effective coordination and cooperation between different military units. Thank you for watching this video on Operation Barris. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on military history and current events.